Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. As you can see, there's still snow up here on the mountain at the Grafton Peace Pagoda. But the Buddha taught us about peace. And this month, we may need to really think about peace a lot in our lives. That's because there's a major opposition between the Sun and Mars to Saturn, and then on the 9th, there's a new moon with Mercury. And then later on in the month, there's another square between Uranus and Pluto. Now, here's what all this means to your chart. As the month begins, Capricorn, the Sun and Mars in your fifth house inspire you to work on creative projects and take some time for romance and pleasure you'll feel like letting the good times roll. Ah, but an opposition to Saturn in your 11th house may remind you that you have some responsibilities in the larger world. Yes, you still can take some time for pleasure, but you must not forget who you're with and what you're trying to achieve when you're interacting with others. The new moon and Mercury change the energy. Capricorn, Mercury close to the new moon on the 9th is in your fifth house of romance and creativity. Now this activates an exciting time as new opportunities may come knocking on your door. You may fall in love at first sight or you may find that a brilliant idea pops right into your head. Develop it. If a romantic opportunity appears, and you're free, take advantage of a special enchanting moment. Before going on to the second half of the month and all the crazy energy that will be around, I'd like to show you how a transit chart can help you. If you look here, this is the sun, so this person is born under the sign of Virgo. However, they have 29 degrees Taurus rising, and that changes the placement of all the birth planets, as well as where the transiting planets are. So you can see that Mars moves very quickly. Jupiter in one year will go that distance. Saturn will be in this house for the whole year, as will Uranus and Neptune and Pluto. When you know the position of these planets and how they affect your chart, you know what kind of energy to expect and how to react. And that's why a transit chart can be so helpful. Capricorn, the challenge to change continues to exert pressure as Uranus squares Pluto for the third time. Now Uranus in your fourth house may shake up your sense of personal security. You may not be able to rely on the things that you traditionally valued or believed. The square to Pluto in your first house asks you to deepen the meaning of your actions. The opportunity of a lifetime is to find new potential that brings you a sense of excitement and a real purpose into your life. These predictions were based on your sun sign. Now, if you'd like to get more accurate information based on your time, date, and place of birth, you can go to my website, professorastrology.com. You can go to the personal services page and you'll find a way that you can order a transit chart that will tell you exactly where these energies are falling in your chart and how they are affecting you, how you can use them to better your life. Now, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to these videos and share them with your friends because they're free. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. And I hope you have a very blessed month.